Queen Valdorius oh, okay. is. I, I'm on the heart and heart. <laughs> oh, um, Red. um, old. Uh, no, no, don't beat me off. Well, that was bad. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. This is uh, Mr. Craft Season 2. I don't know if you remember. Um, I participated in Season Number 1, but I wasn't that consistent, as consistent as I would like to be because life and things and as you see there's um certain things over in that direction over my head that are very important for later on in this series and the video you will understand what it mean but this is my little um island my little castaway island i'm gonna build something here of magnificent but you know what and this is episode one which means let's go check out the new people let's hang out with the guys a little bit yes it was a little bit chaotic but it always is when you get 20 something people on the same voice thing so i didn't actually add too much of it was that uh, what was that thing over here oh it's just fish okay and um it should be interesting so i am gonna go and you can watch some more of this and at the end i'll kind of tell you more about what to expect in the future with this series i'm looking forward to it. and by the way all the links to everybody on the server is down below and the doobly-doo not even call it that in so many years um go follow them do yourself a favor you'll enjoy them if you like minecraft if you like hermit craft because i'm gonna say that that's that's what this uh server is it's basically we're trying to um not be hermit craft but we have the same principles and goals as the guys on hermitcraft so if you like hermitcraft you will probably like this series also so i suggest you follow everybody that is on mysticraft now oh now yeah follow them just follow them don't, don't even think about it just go down below and follow them all all right, back to some more shenanigans, and I'll tell you what's going on in the future. In I thought I did that earlier, but I guess it didn't work. <laughs> okay, go ahead, restart there, Tom. Hey, Zan, did you have oh, oh, that? No! Oh, no. <laughs> what happened? No, what happened to my safe space? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It never existed. <laughs> there was no safe space to begin with. It's it was all in your head. Don't touch it's my no-no no space. I just What? I heard that very subtly in the background. <laughs> someone just went, don't touch my no-no space. That was bad. That was bad. Well, I said, don't uh, touch my no-no square. I, I uh, square. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's a, bit, that's that's a little bit better. That. That's, that's... Well, you people. <laughs> Welcome to Mr. Craft Season 2, everybody. We are very excited to have you guys here um, as us past previous uh, mystics, and we are excited to welcome all of you new mystics. We have a whole bunch of you. Welcome. Um, Yay. We actually have, we have a grand total of 20 people on the server currently, and we are missing five people today who could not make it for the opening. And spawn town is that way and that's the way we go we all jump into our boats and we all head towards spawn town which is just a uh, little group of islands that we have set up over here um the only reason why i'm showing you this part of the video and i'm probably going to speed this up a little bit is to kind of give you an idea how far away spawn town is from spawn Basically, these islands right here is the beginning of Spawn Town, and I choose the one on the far edge eventually to be the one that I would like to be for Spawn. That is right. This is my home. Okay, there is a um, there is a skeleton oh. down there. Yeah, no. I'm just oh, no. garden just buddy, garden buddy. There's a skeleton by the water over okay. there. 
There we go. Don't go that yeah, way. I got stuff it, to eat. It, oh. It's still not safe because the drowned are coming. <laughs> oh, here, here's another skeleton made it Goodbye, to our world. Island. They're following us. I found coal. I'm out. Oh. All right, so where is everyone like mining at? Where are you at, Bold? I'm just. Uh, I'm on the first island. First island. Oh, really? All right, so full, uh -oh. I'm hidden there. Garden Bunny, where oh, yeah. are you? I'm just putting uh -huh. some torches in it now so that people can see where boots I am. Did you really just? Oh so, no! So what do you think? No. You should you be able to come right. up the hill. Uh, oh my god! I'm I'm following you, too. Soulful, they're like right underneath you. Run! Run! Yeah. Run! Soulful! Run! Get the boat! <laughs> I'm including this in here because um, <clears throat> it's kind of uh, purposeful for being a derp and all that wonderful stuff that is cool. You know, I had forgotten that. Um. Torches do not really help you when you try and suffocate. I'm like, okay, I'm suffocating. Torch, torch. Oh crap, that's right. We don't gain our breath instantaneously. That's why I had to show it. It was my first death on the server, so it makes it into the video. So let's pretend we didn't see that and just move right along. I'm gonna need some food. You soon. can yeah, only sleep at night or during um, thunderstorms. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Two things. You have any have more torches, bed. and you know the tunnel I went down. Yeah, come, uh, come. I can make some. Come, come. Is there here. a stronghold right here? Oh, that'd be awesome if you found it already. <laughs> Are you pulling an exama? Yeah, I was about to um, say that. Hmm. I hear yeah, so much damage. Need to come back. This, this is where we suddenly discover that KMA is now killing the dragon. <laughs> yeah, he's, been, he, he's actually been spending the, the the time away practicing. He's been there on all the pre-releases, like doing the most optimum route on the seed, just like practicing. Go, 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 go. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> yep. Then he's just having to find ender pearls and chests that he found. He's actually already built like a guardian farm and an iron farm. Yeah, there is a guardian temple right over here. See, I told you. I told yeah. you where the guardian temple Bam. is. To be fair, there were a lot of those around I, here. I, oh, are there? Saw okay. Four of them, three or four of them on the way to where we were going. Like, so, oh, yeah. there's a skelly We there claimed everywhere. one for the community. Other than that, they're all up for grabs. Iron. Yeah, I'm going to be needing all the sponge. I mean, what? I'm in a one by. This should am... not be possible. <laughs> I am so lost. Oh, boy. I, I need to in that direction. <laughs> I don't know. It's all in my head. He's going for the dragon guy. I have a secret thing here. It's, Did you actually? I just found it, yeah. It's underwater. I can see it from oh, the surface. I see you. So to give you a reference, there's my beautiful spawn base right there. Here is the island that Tall Bunny was working on. Um, Voldorius has a an enchanting table over there full setup already and um remember the hole i was digging in um right before i came out and killed the skeleton earlier in this video well this is the hole um garden bunny has is starting to make it into a home because <laughs> what else do you do with holes you make them into homes but um seeing that oh, afk fishing has been approved i've got myself a fishing rod i've got myself a fishing rod and um the problem is, is I don't have enough iron <laughs> or anything else. I'd, oh, I forgot to bring my my uh, gear over here. Man, it doesn't matter. I don't need armor. I'm just going. Um, what do you call it? Branch mining. Yeah. Let's check out the. This is a communal mine. Communal mine. And I need to. What is in here? Nothing. Oh. Okay. Something. I need to uh, get some more iron so I can actually make some hoppers, you know? I'm actually going to put iron and hoppers ahead of gear and protection. So all I'm going to be really doing is looking for a little bit of iron. Hopefully there will be some like left out and about. I don't know. Um, I'm just going to go to the end of this. And uh, poke my way. Oh god, I'm gonna get myself lost, aren't I? Oh. 
That's why I put the torch right there like that. I can tell that's that's the way out. The torch that's on the step itself instead of on the ground or on the wall is the way out. You gotta do things like that or else you just like, I don't know, you lose it. So I'm gonna get some enough iron to uh, make five or six hoppers. Maybe finish up my gear. I gotta change my water particles. I do not like that at all. That didn't work out too well. It seemed like that's where everybody went for the first like mining and usually there's iron and coal and stuff left behind. But what happened was I actually came back down here and uh, went underwater and got myself a few pieces of iron. I'm a little short on time. So I couldn't make the amount of iron that I would want to so I could have the amount of hoppers I would like underneath the farm, but just for something till I come home tonight for the stream, um, this will be good enough. And as you see, um, this right there, <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I am um, still working on my texture pack. I actually had a pretty much completed one down for 1.13 so that's why we had the weird texture for the hopper because it for some reason this texture pack i think i made before there was even hoppers i'm just aging myself again i do that so well so let me um show you this uh farm of awesomeness i need a couple of blocks uh, this will work we'll just do this um so i initially was going to make the exuma one but it didn't really seem to work at all. So uh, I was looking for alternatives and I was talking with Jam Doggy last night. He told me about how Doc M had uh, specifically brought out one for other people. Uh, some one of, Somebody he knows had made himself a uh, fishing farm for 1.13 and it works really well. And basically uh, most fishing farms have tripwire across to recognize um, whatever the uh, movement of catching a fish and it would you know, open the thing so it would reset your fishing rod. Um, kind of like when I hit that, that goes up. So when I throw the fishing rod right there, oops, I got I got to remember where the sweet spot is for this. But um, I just right click on the note block, and the weight of the pole keeps the um, the wood gate up because of the pressure plate. And when they catch something, I retract the fishing line, which makes the pressure plate go up, which allows the thing to come down and reset the fishing pole. Pretty simple. Uh, you can't hear the note block because I have a block on top of it, so it's not making noise. But basically, the way to make this um, is just basically... How many times can you say basically in one sentence? Hopper on top of it, fence gate, pressure plate. I don't know if uh, you need the gold one or not, um, but... I use the gold one because I have gold and I, you know, I don't need gold for anything. Not in this game. Um, until I start eating golden carrots, which I'm not sure I'm going to be doing this year. So basically where the fence is, make a hole on the other side, put the water source here. The water flows into the hole that's on the other side, right there. <clears throat> put the pressure plate on top of the fence and just kind of like aim so the pressure plate is hit and just sit here you gotta put the weight on the the mouse to keep it going but it works so there we go <laughs> i was gonna say it works so why aren't i catching anything i'm gonna make a little sneaky thing here so i can go down there so uh oh you know what i i can make a bow real quick because i went f uh fishing last night to uh get things done and mending unbreaking what would i rather have mending or oh you know this is early when i go oh i don't even have an anvil to make this bow so why don't we put this stuff on the side oh subspace bubble nice oh and he made the achievement oh wait 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 is he over here is is he over there Oh, I wouldn't be able to tell if he is. Oh, ho, ho. Jam dog. That's where I found the other uh, stronghold. I'm not sure if the seed was chosen because there's a stronghold right here. Oh. Mm. All right. So <laughs> I'm going to go to work now. I'm going to um, fish a little bit all day. And um, then I am going to figure out 
what I'm going to do in the stream tonight and uh, basically show you what this area is going to be. Uh, it's not going to be built up that well. It's not going to even have a house on it, I don't think. There'll be a bar and there'll be a dock over there for interviews. Uh, that's something I want to talk about, but I want to talk to the people on the server first before I do that. And I'm going to have a little dock over here, a little beach place. I'm going to get rid of the the uh, grass stuff here or the sugar cane because that looks like caca. And I will see you on the other side. So uh, I'll be AFK fishing for probably eight hours, maybe. So these chests will definitely be filled up. Well, as you see over there, uh, my fishing farm had a little problem. I don't know what it could have been, but when I woke up today, I was not exactly alive. I said killed by a zombie, but it looks like um, I had creepers following me. But before I had it, um, done that, I had a couple of chests which uh, were over here with... Oh, thankfully my gear survived last night with some of my fishing farm uh, caught stuff. Um, as you see, this is the only chest that's left with the fishing farm. Uh, yeah, so I lost a lot of stuff. Um, but it's not a big deal because when you go uh, AFK, you make sure that if you die, it's not that big a deal. But it just looks at a couple of my fishing chests has blown up, so I lost some stuff. I had um, brought, you know, kind of separated my stuff up a little bit before I went fishing last night just to get things a little organized and out of the way because I initially had everything out here. But out here is now a big hole, which, you know, it'll take a couple of minutes to fix, but it's not a big deal. Let me show you what I've uh, done to the island. Let me get over here without looking at anything. Welcome to Patreon Island. That's right. This is my island to um, support the people who support me. The people who have been there even though I haven't been able to make videos and things like that. So let's get a little distance view on it. So basically it's just a beach island. I, I live um, in South Florida right near the beach so I'm kind of loving beaches. And I've decided to make um, just a couple places for some of my Patreons. And there's a, there's a guy hanging out over there. I wonder if that's one of the buddies that blew up my place. But anyways, let's see. Um, each one of these um, little lounge chairs on the beach is for each one of my patrons. So we've got Fizzbolt, Mink of Bane, this is a big a uh, big yellow fan so I decided to make their little table yellow <laughs> over here I've got to white fire an acapella guitarist and I've made their little table red and I had this I don't know how well the glowstone lights up the area because I do want to get rid of these torches over here I also have a couple more people really close to the destruction thankfully it did not destruct completely Eduardo Mana and Jake Loves Cake those are the six people who um, support me on Patreon right now and if you are interested in doing that you will get a spot on this beach or someplace else because I consistently try my best to um, acknowledge those that support me because it means a lot to me it really does it helps keep me going and uh, these six that have been supporting me for the last few months when I've been going through probably some of the worst times of my life I've really got a soft spot in my heart so guys thank you so much and um, so basically that's what this island's gonna be the made the little shack up here not a, and it's not a nothing it's just I needed another building I'm thinking of maybe raising the floor up so it when I'm looking through the window, it's not like I'm looking up, I want to look down. <laughs> so I want to uh, raise the floor up a half a block. But uh, the island is basically all done. Unless I get more Patreons. So, you know, um, if you feel like it, you can go to 
patreon.com KMA's corner. Um, it's only if you're a really good fan and you want to support me. It's I do have some special things that happen if you become my patron, but overall, um, you don't need to do it to show your support. Just watch the videos, like, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I guess I'm going to have to fix this. <laughs> Stupid creepers. Are you still over here? No, he disappeared. Okay. Well, that was episode one. Mr. Craft, it ended kind of weird because uh, I got blown up, but um, it was pretty successful. We've got most of Patreon Island done. I'm going to add a couple of palm trees and stuff and add a dock over here for fishing and a dock over there for boats. That'll probably be in the next episode next week. But uh, until then, thank you for all the support and dealing with uh, the lack of videos and content lately. I should be back video-wise. I've been pointing towards uh, watching... My Twitch channel, but I've realized I've been uh, putting a lot of stress on myself, so I'm going to give it another month before I start streaming again. So, this is like the beginning of August. Um, by September, I will be back streaming. That's my goal. Next, starting in the first week of September, I will be streaming again, even though it says on the top right there my twitch.tv link. I'll follow it so you can be ready for me when I come back in September. I have this ability to overload myself and uh, feel really bad when I can't follow it so I'm going to start coming back a little bit slower than I initially thought so I can handle everything and not overwhelm myself but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and uh, give me any clues of what you want to see in future ones thank you guys goodbye <laughs>